Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. My voice went a bit funny then. Today we're going to be looking at the L Phalax. So this I picked up from Tony Webb at Venomous Visions. I will pop the Venomous Visions website in my description below. So I've wanted one of these for ages. Why? Well, because they literally look like they've been spat out of hell itself. So if we have a little closer look at the tub and what it's already constructed before I've managed to rehouse it. So as you can see, there's already loads and loads of silk been in here, but if we come down to the side, you can see that they've it's actually constructed web tunnels. So they will make burrows out of the web and they will barely actually use the substrate itself later on. So I can't wait to see what it constructs in its home today. Just living in a silk retreat absolutely fascinates me. There it is, look, pure evil, right there. So let's have a look at what we're gonna be housing this one into. So ignore the mess, I'm still having my morning cup of tea but I'm gonna be popping it into this one. Now a lot of setups tend to look pretty basic for a phallax, such as this, a piece of bark one side, a piece of bark the other. I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna be taking these out because I found some twisty, awesome bark. So I'm gonna have a play around and see which way this awesome bark will fit into this enclosure. These are the cool twisty bits of bark. And uh, we only put these kind of things in here to make anchor points. <coughs> So it allows the spider to find a location to start its webbing. So I think I've got it pretty much how I'd like it. So I've got these Curved bits of wood which will allow it to attach all its silk to go all the way around and kind of give it sort of starter tunnels in a way. I don't know, I just think this all webbed up will look super cool. Now I'm not putting a water dish in here, I've done a little bit of research and read they don't even really bother using one. You've just got to keep adding water to the enclosure, so putting some of the droplets on the web for them or into a certain part of the enclosure. I guess now all we have left to do is put the phallax into the enclosure. Okay, so phallax is in here and it's right on the edge and it's not very happy looking because I've just gone to start taking the lid off and upset its burrow. So taking the lid off this is gonna be a little bit tricky because it's still all attached to this heavy silk. There we go. So before I try and maneuver it in, let's have this opportunity for a close-up. Check the size of those spinnerets. You can see how it can produce so much silk with those bad boys. So, this is a hefty size. I'll zoom out for you now and we'll try and get it to go up and over. Whoa, you can see that speed. I'm gonna to have to move my camera before I move her again. Looks like this is the direction she's gonna take, if any. Whoa, made me jump. <laughs> and she's in, just like that. So, I don't know how well you can see. She's just under here. I've actually got glare shining in my eyes right now, so I can't see what you can see for the minute. If I take that one out, look at all that. I don't know how long she would have been prepared for before the BTS, but it certainly hasn't taken her long. You can see uh, legs poking out one side of the park and out the other, and you can just make out her abdomen there. Let me try and get a side angle for you now. Ah, what a beautiful shot. Again, the size of those spinnerets absolutely massive. She'll take some time now to settle in to learn her new surrounding. For the moment she's just chilling out on the floor. 
So I think what I'll do now is I'll come and revisit this enclosure every couple of days. And if she has started construction of the web, I'll hit the record button for you guys at home. And we'll see what she can develop within one week's time. And then we'll pop in a roach and see what happens. So it's now been a week and you can see it's constructed a nice silken retreat at the back of the enclosure. That is actually at the back, I've just turned it on the side for your viewing. It's gone likely over this end and very thick tubular webbing over this end here. If we look at the back here, we can see the phallax in its retreat. Let's pop a roach in and see if she's hungry in hand. Hopefully she'll sense the vibration on the top of the webbing. Look at her go. She missed the roach. Is that not truly a spider of nightmares? You're lucky, but let's give it a round two. Roach is back here with some substrate attached. Let's put it nearer her domain. can sense the vibration on her web. The roach is playing smart and not going there. Look at that. She got him. You can just see the shine on the eye there and where she's pulled in the roach. Oh, fantastic. The speed on her is phenomenal. That roach is still alive and wriggling, but she's got it clasped in her fangs. I wish I could take another angle but where she is right now guys if I took a side angle of the tank it would show way too much reflection for you. We can give it a go and see. Okay so I've managed to get a side angle through the plastic. I hope this comes up well enough for you guys. Look at that. I tell you what this has become one of my best buys at the BTS 2019. Wow. So, I think this is where we're going to end the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I thoroughly enjoyed filming it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I am so proud to be the owner of this monstrous spider. So if you liked the video guys, please give it a thumbs up. Remember I do have a Patreon page and I also have a merchandising site in the links in the description below. The limited edition t-shirt is due to change soon. There might be a slight delay by a week or two or so on. I'm relating it to a future video that I'm doing and I'm not quite sure when that video is going to be present. But uh, keep an eye on that merch page if you want to get the new limited edition t-shirt that will be coming out. So that'll be it from me guys, thanks for watching, take care and bye bye.